Welcome guys, Brandon here from Terminated Gaming, and once again we're back on Transport Fever 2, back in the Brandenburg region, and we're going to continue where we last left off with uh, building out the region. Uh, once again, like I said in the first one, this is a reboot from the first three episodes, so if you missed the last episode, please use the playlist in the cards up above to go back and check that out. So Brandenburg is the only city that we have spawned so far on the map, and it will be for a while. But that doesn't mean we can't build out more stations and such. So here you see me building out the next city overs station. And it's going to be kind of different uh, in a way. And it's not going to be necessarily that big, but it's needed. It's a needed station to be right here. It'll be kind of the only crossing that I'm allowing bridge-wise from over the water because it won't block any of the sea routes because it's the edge of the map anyways. But this dock will service this, whatever the city is, over to uh, Brandenburg, Maine anyways. And then also it will take in goods from across the water too. So we will see that happen at a later date, expanding across the water. That is currently not the first thing on here, but... Uh, it will be pretty soon. So right here, like I said, these routes are going to be one-way routes where trains can go on the right only. Uh, so they, whatever direction they're traveling, they're on the right side. Kind of like how we drive in America. Or left if you're from England. So basically, leading up to that, they can leave their station and they can go to a certain point before they have to start merging. So I put in the signals there to help with that and I said in the first part and that still pertains to this as well to a degree we are going to try to limit the number of terminal stations as terminal stations are quite rare at least where I am from they might differ in other places but terminal stations are quite rare um, unless it's like going into a town or something and like into the middle of town where it doesn't go anywhere else so we're going to try to limit that. So right here is one of our first exceptions is whatever this town's name will have a terminal station as it makes sense. And then the remaining towns on this section will not have terminal stations. They'll have through stations, most likely. And even still, some of these through stations, like this cargo station you see here, will have a through port for the main line besides just the... Uh, regular train traffic. The problem comes from trying to get two line segments like these if I was to, because this is going to have its own section of line compared to the section coming from Brandenburg. That's the only problem I have is trying to get the, the sections connected. So the terminal station that connects to that main line coming from Brandenburg to the unnamed city to the north or to its east. I don't know what directions we're going to do for this map. The That unnamed section will actually have no uh, two-way. It's just going to be... Or it's going to be a two-way on one single track. Once it gets to here, it'll go to its two-lane form. So that might cause our problem later, but for now, it should be fine. So here I'm trying to decide how I want trains to enter and generally what I want is I want them to get onto the tr uh, the rail going away as fast as possible so they're gonna cross onto the rail that gets them out of there as fast as possible and then they'll get onto the one going into their station that one can be earlier if that makes any sense so the train on the right facing that station just there a second ago that train gets the right of way out, whereas the train coming in has to cut across so that one doesn't get a right of way. It might not be very efficient, but in my head it worked efficiently, so I could be wrong. If I am, just let me know in the comments. It's an easy switch to fix it. So here we're setting up our double sided uh, terminal, uh, even though trains will only run on one side of that terminal. The reason I'm doing this is because. Both lumber and ore will be leaving from this station to head down to the port. So it needed to be double-sided for that reason. And that's the exclusive reason that I'm doing it like this. 
Granted, it works because the station will just put it onto the track that's needed. And I can all I have to do is just put in the... So there will be a city up in this area. But it's going to be kind of dense with the uh, little bit of workspace in there. So we'll see how that work ends up working. It is nice when you formulate the lines on there that it actually automatically filters them. So it, it actually looks kind of nice. And how many times can I say actually in a day? It's quite a bit, if you're wondering. So here's where I'm connecting up the rail station for this whole area. And the reason I'm doing it right there is the tracks for the main line for going to the right is right off of that. And so then I just have the two trains that can be sent immediately. So I'm making two of each train right away. And you might be like, well, why is that? It seems like a waste. Well, and actually... At the beginning, it isn't, but towards the end, yeah, the trains can be shorter. We don't need to have, you know, such expensive trains because not as many goods we need to be sent from one area because there's not enough industry there to support it. Mainly is uh, if I could, I would need to uh, spend a little bit more investment on the port side where the facilities like the steel mill and the lumber yard are. So that way I can, I can expand this up here pretty easily. Well, I say that, but I haven't really left myself a ton of room, but I could fairly easily expand this northern section to add in more lumber, or more um, forestry section and more mines. And then those trains can still run more efficiently as well. And then I think I need to set up these trains with some cargo capacity so they can send it back up that way, because this they don't have anything sending back on the return trip, so it's kind of inefficient. In a way, not super bad, but pretty bad. I like to have efficiency going both directions, but it's kind of hard to do in some situations. We used to get around this in the first iteration of the videos that you saw, I believe by having the rail, ser or the uh, dock service had stuff from Brandenburg going back and forth. Granted, that'll still be the case, but like up here, the trains are leaving from the stock section on or, uh, empty, heading back north to the main collection facilities. Here, I'm just making sure I'm just checking to make sure all these uh, the trains are running smoothly and we're getting all the inputs that we need. And when I said last episode that we will be doing a lot of this uh, deleting and coercing of the city to grow the way we want it, it is a lot. Um, and there, I got a dumb achievements to transport every resource uh, that a city needs. It's like, well, my city only needs two and it's the only one on the map, so it's kind of cheaty, but hey, it's a design aspect of the game, so. Um, here I'm trying to do the the switchovers for this line, and it won't let me do it. There's not enough distance, so this one gets a little extra space before the line switchover happens. So, that's why you see that. And those, you have to put those signals there on that so they go past the switches, but wait just before the station if the station's occupied by another train. So it's kind of hard to see when it's really fast paced like this, and it's going to be even harder for me to explain. But I'm trying to get closer to the dock, the industry, and then I'm trying to get the uh, commercial to spawn right near the main roads and then the residential to spawn in between the commercial but not near the industrial even though there is no downside to that in the game it's just it allows the pollution to mitigate closer to things that don't it doesn't get bothered by because residential is the only thing that pollution bothers so trying to do that I'm trying to get the residential off of the main road so that that's the goal with fixing that city I want the residential to be separate from the industrial for sure, even though there's no downside to that in game. So, so I added uh, the food processing plant here, and the reason for that is I figure from the other side of the water is where I'll send uh, grain up here to get processed. So that requires adding in a bus or a truck terminal, and I've also made it where that truck terminal. Um, has an extra one for when we need to create the local connection for goods. So as you can see, it's a pretty bustling 
city right off the bat. And when it's the only city on the map, you don't have to worry about it competing for growth with the other cities and all of that. It is a pain to really try to get this designed the way you want it, though. It's not like City, uh, city Skylines or even uh, SimCity, like that old garbage game where you can actually set uh, zones of build and then they can build whatever they want in SimCity's case and kind of in City Skylines case. They'd build whatever can fit in that area, but in this, it's just, I'm going to build whatever I want, wherever I want it, and the only thing you have to say about it is you're going to pay every time you want to delete something, so... Um, here I'm just, now I'm finally getting started to do the, what will be the main line that's not that cargo line, because that cargo line technically terminates in that area, it's like a local line, whereas these will be the island transit line, I guess is what we'll call it, like the peninsula transit line that connects Brandenburg to all of the communities via passenger transit. Uh, cargo transit will not be really done via the train stations. At least in most part. It'll just mostly be the docks that send out uh, goods. I might change that. Um... I know this is just a passenger terminal up here, but I had thought about maybe doing a uh, cargo terminal there as well, but uh, I don't know if that'll actually come of anything. Placing down the headquarters just just because. I really wish that building could be changed, or as your company gets larger, the building looked better, because it just looks like a little shack. So it's like, what is where's that going to fit, unless I were to put it in like the industrial sector, but there's no space, so where, the, where am I going to put it? Here I'm looking at what all the different ships look like, because uh, I do have a couple mod packs that like these big ships. Problem is, is they don't fit well into the docks, so either the game needs to have bigger docks, or uh, yeah, like look at that. That's not gonna like the way that travels and like moves. Uh, -uh it's not gonna look right. Like I really wish there was larger cargo ships than the ones that we have so far. Like that we that we see right now. There might be. I haven't got to the like late late game to see. But like ships that are larger in capacity and size than the ones that we have right now, and maybe even just faster. That's the thing is the ships are the ships are really slow, but they can ship a lot of stuff. Whereas trains are really fast. They can also ship a decent amount of stuff, but they're also limited by they need real estate to do so. Whereas ships they can travel as long as there's water. And it doesn't matter really where. Whereas the trains need to have tracks laid. Um, I don't think... It, maybe it might be at the end of this episode, but hopefully... If it isn't, it's in the next one for sure. We will finish the connection of the main line. And also... Oh, and maybe it is in this episode. So this one has a dual... It's a dual terminal, but I did that just... Because it didn't look good with a single. So we have a dual terminal that's only going to send... Uh, one train. I think I do connect both rails, though. So technically, the train could go both ways. And I might set it up where there will be two trains on the line. And uh, I will have them... One will go to one side, one side, and the other one will go to the other side. Or as in, the, I'll set extra stations so it will go to the other terminal. So, since it's only a one line connection over that way, I just connected the other... I connected that one to the main line, and then connected the main line to it. So, it kind of created this decent transition. And then you need to have a cut-across point for the, the other direction to get back onto the single rail. But I figured since it's a branch-off connection to a local station, it was fine to do. So, that was my justification for that. Anyways, we're approaching near the end of this episode. Um, I did let the simulation run this entire length of this episode, just so that way maybe Brandenburg would grow significantly and allow us to do some extra coercing of where we wanted it to go. So as anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, it would be much appreciated. Please leave a like down below if you've liked it, comment what you'd like to see, and if you have any suggestions for names and whatnot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, it would be much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys most definitely on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down.
Bye.